I am so glad that you have joined me for the flip through of this rose journal. This is an altered book. You can see the cover is a Reader's Digest book that I have added some layers of paper on the front. We've got some vintage music paper and then images from the beautiful kit created by Rachel Bella Crafts. The name of the kit is Letters of Love and I will have that in my description box. This is my February design team project for Rachel Bella Crafts. I have used images from her kit as well as a scrapbook pack called Romance and it is a 6x6 six six scrapbook pack. I also printed out her kit on the back of some scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. You'll be able to see on some of the edges of the papers that I did some stitching with my sewing machine. I also added some lace and ribbon to this project. I had to keep all of my embellishments very flat because I wanted it to fit in the Reader's Digest book cover and I did not want to change the spine. I ended up just layering paper, uh, some thin ribbon and some thin laces and it all worked out perfectly. Also inside of this journal, I used vintage music sheets and it's actually almost antique and seven more years that will be considered antique. In the first video I shared in this series, I believe that I told you that I covered it with decoupage. Um, it was very, you know, it's just fragile. So I covered one side of it with decoupage just to give it some strength. Before I did that, I went ahead and printed an image from the kit on it. So the blue background with the red roses that was printed onto the vintage music paper. I shared about four or five videos showing the creation of some of the pages of this journal from start to finish. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out. I will put the link in my description box. Here I created a tag from a uh, book page that I had about butterflies and moths and it just tucks right behind this piece of paper that can be written on. I tucked a piece of my pink coffee dyed paper behind this sheet of paper, but there's another space right there under that red paper that you could add more paper. You could add a secret journaling spot for yourself. Uh, you could just be creative with it any way that you would want to. In the original book was this uh, 
page marker, uh, this strand of burgundy that you see, I was able to save that and put that back in the book once I had taken the pages out. Here on this page, you'll see it looks like a paper bag, and it is a paper bag. And inside of it, I have stuffed some pink dyed paper. And I wanted to mention to you that I actually ran that paper bag through my printer, and I was able to print uh, some of the kit images on it. And I absolutely love the way that, that turned out. I think the aesthetic of that is awesome. Here I used some vintage lace. This is just sort of a fun little interactive page. You can write on that pink sheet and then there's that doily on there that you can, you know, do, do whatever you wanted with. You could add to it, you could write on it, you could have put a picture on it, whatever you'd like to do. This is vintage stationery that I found at the thrift store and I went ahead and coffee dyed it and so it now has a nice aged look and I think it works well in this journal. This journal does have a nice vintage vibe, which I love, but you'll notice that I didn't do a ton of inking or a ton of coffee dyeing. I did some, but I did not want this journal to have a grungy look at all. So I wanted the aesthetic of vintage, but I didn't want it to look too aged. I kept the signature dangles very simple. I just used a glass bead on each one. The journal has a lot of patterns. I believe that they work well together, uh, but a lot of patterns, a lot of beautiful colors, but at the same time, it's sort of clean. I hope that makes sense. It's not over embellished, which I really like. So it's, it's busy, but I think the balance is nice. Many of us have these large butterflies and moths, and sometimes they don't really fit into our journals. But I turned this one sideways, and I used it as a tuck spot, and I just love that. I've done that before. I've used it as a uh, full like paper tuck spot. In this case, it's just some tags, but I do enjoy doing that. This is a paper bag that you see here. I decoupaged on top of it, and that's where I just pulled that pink paper from. And this is the last page coming up. I really appreciate you having a look at this journal. I really enjoyed making it. I love that I was able to fit two signatures into 
the original book cover without having to change the spine or anything like that. Again, this was a design team project for Rach and Bella Crafts using the kit Letters of Love. It is available in her Etsy shop. I'll have that linked in my description box. I really appreciate the time that you've spent with me today. I know that I say that every time, but I mean it sincerely every single time. Without you guys, there would be absolutely no point in me taking the time to create these videos. And I enjoy it so much and I appreciate your support so much. Thanks for watching. See you soon.